Hi, so today we are going to use AI tools to create unique SEO content that ranks. The reason I have puppies open on my screen is we're going to write a long form article about something related to dogs, puppies, dog training. And the goal of this is that we want it to be AI, mostly AI undetectable. So we want to get a score of 75% or greater on originality. And we also want to get a high, high content score in a tool like Neuron Writer, which is similar to Market Muse, and we'll go over that later. So why do we care about originality? Um, Google has said that they're okay with AI-generated content as long as it's useful. However, there's definitely evidence to show that um, content that is has as a little you know AI detection in it as possible ranks better. So originality did uh, research earlier this year where they looked at the top 20 web pages and they looked at a thousand popular keywords to figure out if AI generated content influences their position on Google search. And what they found is that websites with a higher human content score have better Google search rankings, a 1% higher originality dot a AI human content score uh, corresponds to an improvement of 2.65 positions in Google. And they also found that the correlation stops above 75% meaning you don't see a ton of benefit if your content has more than 75% originality score. So you don't need to get 100% to do well. Um, so that said, I know, I mean, I know that this is originality.ai and they definitely have a vested interest in these stats, but they are considered the best content detection and plagiarism tool on the market, so I'm inclined to trust them. So going back to our topic, step one in this process uh, starts with a tool called Harpa. So the way you find Harpa, Harpa is a completely free tool. You, I'm using Chrome right now. So you go to your extensions in Chrome and you basically navigate to the web store and you search for Harpa. Harpa is completely free and it'll be the first thing that pops up. So install that. And when you have it installed, you're gonna see this little red circle up here in your, in your um, bookmark bar. If you don't see it, just click on this extensions icon and click the little blue pin button next to it and that'll make sure that it, it appears. So once you have it open, and once you have Harper installed, let's just go to Google. Uh, I can type. So once we get to Google, I know that I want to um, write something related to dog training, but I need a better topic because this is too broad and this is also super competitive. So I need to find something more niche um, so that my article ranks higher. So I'm going to open up Harpa and I'm going to tell it to create a list of keywords. and LSI keywords related to dog training. And then also click the page text because that will make it scan this uh, Google search, which has a ton of useful keywords just embedded in the search and give you a list. So keywords, it's obvious, those are words that you wanna appear for when people do searches. LSI keywords are latent semantic indexing, and these are keywords that are related to the primary keyword. And what's good about these is they tend to be not as competitive, and basically they expand, they, they give you other niches to think about within the overall realm of the keyword that you're looking at. So we see that within dog training, there's all these like related niches. So let's start with puppy training. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we focus on a keyword that is competitive. By competitive, I mean um, this is something that is not doesn't have a, a ton of difficulty uh, in order to rank on the first page of Google, and that also has a decent amount of search volume. So we look up puppy training, and I'm right now I'm on Ahrefs. They have a free keyword generator. You can just Google Ahrefs free keyword generator, and you'll find it. Enter puppy training, click on find keywords. 
And we see that puppy training is pretty competitive. So these numbers stand for keyword difficulty. So that estimates how hard it is to rank in the top 10 of organic search results. So we want something that is preferably in, in a, appears in a, with a low number in the green box. So the, the higher your numbers get, the more difficult it is to rank for that keyword. So 57 is too difficult, um, even though it gets a decent amount of monthly search volume, search traffic. But right here we see best treats for puppy training is much more competitive and it still gets about 3,500 searches a month. So that's great. So let's take that. I'm going to copy that keyword and then I'm going to go back over to Google. So I'm going to enter that keyword into Google search and generate another just search on Google. And I'm going to enter almost the same prompt that I did before, except I'm going to change my keyword topic to best treats for puppy training. And it's going to give me another list of keywords and LSI keywords. So I actually had already done this search prepping for this video. So I, you see here I've generated a list. So let's just keep this tab open, leave this for now. And now we're ready to go and start writing our article. So I am using a tool called Agility Writer. Agility Writer is similar to tools like Content at Scale and um, Surfer SEO. The main difference is it's a lot more affordable. So Surfer is pretty expensive, especially if you're, uh, you know, I like to just be on the monthly plan in case I decide I don't want to use the tool anymore. You know, I don't necessarily want to sign up for a year. So monthly on Surfer is like, you know, it starts the cheapest is $29 and that I believe three content editor credits, I would think maybe gets you three articles. Uh, or that might be just one article though. It depends on how they allocate credits. $89 is 17, seven credits, 179 is 25 credits. So this seems like it, you know, it might get you a handful of articles and it's pretty expensive. And content at scale is similar. Um, I've used content at scale. I do like it. It's a good, you know, good software. It's just pricey. So $250 gets you like eight posts and $500 gets, gets you 20 posts per month. So agility in comparison, I started with the $1 trial, so you can get one article for $1. And then I went up to the $28 one and that gets you 32 credits, which got me about, I wanna say between six and eight articles, I can't remember exactly. And then now I'm on the $98 and that gets you 120 credits. And I think that's gonna end up giving me about, you know, 20 articles, um, maybe a bit more, maybe 25. Anyway, uh, it's a lot better than Surfer or um, Content at Scale. So we've logged into Agility. And in order to do this, so they have different ways that you can create um, content. And the one-click mode is like the basically every, you know the cheapest way. So every time you create content, it charges you a certain number of credits. Um, so we want to create content that's going to score as AI, you know, not complete. We want to get a high content score or unique score on originality, and we also want it to be search engine optimized. So we're going to use the advanced mode. So you basically just start kind of filling in details about your article. We're going to look at, um, no, I put too much in here. The title of our article is going to be best treats for puppy training. We might modify that later. Um, Headings, these are like H1, sorry, H2, H3 headings. Um, we're going to stick with four. The more headings you have in an article, the longer your article is going to be. The most I've gone up to so far is eight headings, and that's generated about 7,000 words. Um, we want to make sure the article structure is advanced. Um, our audience, I've already actually generated this article so that, you know, we had, I had it ready for you guys. Um, he's going to say dog lovers, casual tone of voice. But we want AI detection to be advanced, and that's really important because that's going to get us our high score on originality. Uh, we leave this blank. This is going to, we're going to generate an outline first before it writes the article. So terms and keywords. So this is where we go back to Google, and we're going to copy this list of keywords and LSI keywords that we generated. 
and we're going to pop it in here. So what's going to happen is that Agility is going to put these keywords and LSI keywords throughout the article. So we want to make sure to have a FAQ title and description. We want to make sure that it's in-depth factual data. Uh, so it actually lets you choose if you want it fact-based or non. So we want it fact-based. We wanted to add styling, which gives you markdown, you know, nice formatting. I like to include the image prompts. It will basically tell you throughout the article the specific types of images you should include. Authority links means that it will link out to high authority websites, which is actually great. And internal custom links. So with the, if you have a blog, you could get links from like your blog sitemap and paste them in here. And Agility will in, you know, like put internal links into your blog post, which is also really, really great. And you should definitely do that. We're not going to do that today, but that's a great feature to have. So we can see that this article is going to cost about three credits, which is um, pretty reasonable. So the first thing you do is you create outline, click that, and then it will give you basically an overview of your article structure. So at every step of the way, you can see what's, what it's going to generate before it does, and you can make changes if you need to. Um, so just give it a second. Okay, so we have our article outline. So we could see here, this is going to be the general structure. So it's going to have an introduction, and then it's go, going to go right into the top five best puppy training treats. And we see the specific brands. And then in how to choose the right treat, tips for effective use of treats, and conclusion. And it will also put in a FAQ at the end. Um, you can modify this if you want to. So if you wanted to like add a, a new brand of treats, you could just you know add it here. Put you know if I could actually type, um, you could add whatever brand that you want to make sure it includes, and it'll do it. So once you're satisfied with that, you just click the Add to Writing Queue. Now I've already generated this article, so we can take a look at it. And here's the article. So we can click this, and this is the article. So first thing we want to do is we want to click to copy article. And click this button twice. At the end, you'll see other stuff that's not actually not a part of the article. It just it uh, gives you image prompts, and it also gives you information on like how it sourced its data and in facts that it included in the article and the websites that it used. So it's it's pretty helpful. So now let's go over to originality, and we're going to do a content scan. We want to see just right off the bat, not without modifying anything. How does this content um, scan. So it's in originality right now, and I'm in its 1966 words. So I'm going to scan for AI and for plagiarism. Okay, so our originality scan has completed, and we actually scored a 90, 96% original unique, which is fantastic. Um, it is 1% plagiarized, which is fantastic and um, it scores kind of perfectly right in the middle in terms of this readability, this flesh Kincaid readability. So that's all great. So now we're, we're, we need to check and see how optimized this content is. We know that it is passing um, originality.ai scans, which is really great, it's hard to do. So now we go over to Neuron Writer. So Neuron Writer is similar to like Market Muse, where it basically compares your content to the top ranking content and tells you how uh, what your score is in comparison. So I've already started this pro you know project in Neuron where we're looking at best treats for puppy training and it's going to compare our content to the top 10 articles in Google. So now we click next and I'm going to paste our content. So after you paste your content, and you save it, immediately um, you get your, your content SEO score right here. So we have a 41. And that's right off the bat. That's not doing any improvements or tweaking. 
So in, along the side here in the sidebar, you see all of these uh, different keywords. If it's yellow, it means that you are, you know, you have maybe a little too many incidences of the keyword in the article. If it's green, it means you have the perfect amount. And if it's gray, it means you don't have any. Oops. Um, and if it's red, it means you have too many. So we can see that um, this is like a really useful tool in terms of there's a lot of opportunity here to increase my score and adding each time you add a keyword you're going to improve this seo score so for example best dog training treats you just click on a keyword you copy the term so i could say um i'm just showing for example soft and small size best dog training treats just adding that and i improved the the content score to 46. so the goal is to i like to get my content score to try to get it at least to 60. um you see my some of my competitors rank like 78 and 60. so the top in the top 10 the median score is around 56. So if you can get there, you're doing um, as good as the top 10 web pages for the search term. So in a nutshell, doing all of this is going to help you create the best type of content using AI and automation that is also future-proofed so that you're creating content that has longevity. And if Google rolls out some update and they change something and they no longer you know, give deference or preference to AI content, you'll be protected. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and there'll be links to all these tools and I'll have an outline of my process in the video description. Thanks. Have a great day.